Hello everyone. Today we will look at what Bluetooth beacons are and I would like to do a quick demo on configuring a beacon. Bluetooth beacons a hardware transmitter that constantly transmit identity or message. This allows mobile devices to perform a specific action whenever it comes into proximity of the beacon. Example use case. An art gallery may deploy beacons for each of its paintings. This allows visitors to load information pertaining to the painting that is right in front of them. Note that the Bluetooth beacon itself is not connected to the internet. Intelligence is provided by the accompanying app itself. Let's Google search Bluetooth beacon and see what we get. The first few entries are advertisement, but let's click on the Estimo beacon. It is a very nice page, and if we scroll down, we see that there's a diagram depicting the use case. Beacons have been deployed around the showroom, and users are interacting with their mobile phone to get product information. If we scroll down further, we see that Estimos are offering beacons in various battery life, range, thickness and some even with built-in sensors like motion and temperature sensor. We must note that there are two competing beacon standards which is the iBeacon and the Edison. iBeacon is developed by Apple. It works on both iOS and Android, however it is native to iOS. Edison however is announced by Google in July 2015. It is cross-platform supporting both iOS and Android. And we can see that there are various packet formats. We can either broadcast a unique ID, broadcast URL, or send telemetric data like sensor data. And today I will show how to configure a beacon to broadcast URL. And the beacon that I have is by April Brother. As you can see, it is selling for $12 a piece. It has mobile apps supporting both iOS and Android where we can uh, quickly configure the beacon. Let's have a look. So this is what comes in the box. A nice case where we can put a beacon. 3M tape so that we can tape the beacon to something, maybe a wall. And this is a Button cell CR2477, it is quite thick. And it also comes with a leaflet showing us where we can get the resources. And this is the Bluetooth chip itself. On the underlying, we can look at the electronic circuit. And what I'm going to do is slot the button cell in. And over here, I have a mobile app. So this April beacon is downloaded from their website. We are going to use it to configure the beacon. And now I'll click device and do a scan. So over here, I have another beacon as well. So we have two. This is what we are going to play around today. So now we see that there's two April beacon. Over here, we can identify the last four character of this serial number. So D65A refers to the first one and D6B9 refers to the second one. We will click on the second one first. And on the second beacon, you can see it is now configured for iBeacon protocol. If we click on it, we can see the list that is supported by April Beacon, which is the iBeacon the Edison UID and the Edison URL. And if you scroll down, you can see that you can change some other configuration as such as the power, the advertising interval. And right now, this first beacon that I have here, it is configured for Edison URL. And I have shortened the URL because Edison URL do not actually support a very long URL. And so here, we are actually broadcasting a URL, and this is the power. So you can always change it here. And 
After the Edison URL have been configured, we can open the physical web and it will search for Beacon. Make sure that your Bluetooth and location is on for you to work. There we are. And when you click on it, it will load the URL. And note that it is uh, HTTPS because uh, Google Chrome or physical web only supports encrypted site. Thank you for watching. And if you have any experience with Bluetooth Beacon, please share your experience in the comment section below.